This is Christopher from Cats, and that's a cat. He appears to be in some kind of a trash can receptacle, but due to some uh, photoshopping skills, it looks like Terran Cat is bunkered. Hmm. Spect and Zergling Rush. <laughs> okay, uh, you know I'm obsessed with StarCraft. And this game is a lot like StarCraft. This is made by Gameloft. I can't believe this is only 99 cents. I don't even know what to think about Gameloft. Are they like these awesome uh, mobile gods that just give us these things that we need and want? Or are they like the, the Walmart of the app industry just pumping out these like cheap clones, these like no name brand uh, clones that are very close to other games, but just something that should be on the tablet? They're making money because of other companies are being lazy, like Blizzard. Um, they have Gameloft has Order Chaos, which is ridiculous. And this game already has me sold. Okay, so this is Starfront. I hope that's what it's even called. Christ on the Cracker. Um, okay, so I guess I can tell you what's going on. We need to do the tutorials first off, but I'm already like a pretty elite, godly StarCraft 2 gamer. Look at my actions per minute. I'm always doing something. Not really. And uh, for what it's worth, this footage is slightly sped up just so that this, uh, just for like brevity issues. Um, just a great, great port and great ideas of what StarCraft would be like on a tablet. Like, Blizzard should have done this themselves, you slow fools. Do you see how slow, like, these corporations are and how sluggish they are to change and innovate? I'm telling you, normal people, normal people for the win. Okay, so that main building uh, that my thumb is kind of floating around is what builds my little worms. And there's three different races in this. They're very similar to Zerg, Terran, and Protoss. I don't even know their names, but I'm obviously playing Zerg. Um, I'm fighting Terran, and he sent an SCB into my base just to kind of poke around and see what's going on. But um, I have a couple, like, sunken colonies or whatever they're called near the front. And this is pretty heavy. Like, look at this map. It, there's a mini-map in the top right corner, and I'm walling off, like, my choke point, and now I have access to, like, four separate bases, so I thought about going, like, super macro mode, but I don't know. Um, I still haven't ha figured out how to get my supply past 40, so someone give me a clue, unless that's just, like, the max supply, which is ridiculous. I don't know how to build more hatcheries either, but it's really cool, even as is. Okay, so you got your two different kinds of, uh, like, currency, and I'm just going to call them minerals and gas just for ease of use. And you can add more workers onto your minerals, but it costs you gas. And you can add more workers onto your gas, but it costs you minerals. So, I don't know. Maybe you can build more hatcheries, and that's the whole concept of... is just, like, leveling up your own mineral resource things. But it's different. You don't have uh, drones constantly running around. And I'm trying to gear up here. I have, like, my entry-level, like, spawning pool thing that'll let me make a couple different things. And then here's some more bases. That's a mineral one. It's called a Megamite. And then I think the gas one's called a Bloat. But pretty cool. Like, um, I don't even think I... Maybe I'll use it later. But that thing on the very bottom left is a 3D, like, zoom-in scroller. It's, like, the exact same thing as, like, your... You know, your, like, your scroll bar thing on your mouse. What the hell is that called? Okay, so at my hatchery, I can upgrade uh, to get ferocious creatures or something like that. And then um, each different building can make new things. On top of that, each building has its own specific upgrades. And... Some of them are pretty ridiculous, like, whenever I'm fighting Terrans, I like to get Flame Aphids. And that's probably, like, the most bland, <laughs> like, weak strategy ever, but, um, there's, a, a, there's an upgrade you can get for them, and then it makes them do splash damage. And when I'm fighting these computers, they're so, like, infantry-based. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, I need to figure out how to get past 40 supply, though. I'm already approaching it. There has to be something you can do. Jeez Louise. Unless it somehow maxes out just at 40, but someone please post in the comments, because I'm obviously confused, as usual. Um, in the tutorials, they're going to tell you that you can double tap to attack. You, you highlight your guys, and then you double tap, and it'll make a red dot, and they'll start attacking that area. And then if you want to bail and retreat, you just hold and long press on a certain spot, and your dudes will just kind of like truck it back home. 
But yeah, um, when you do have an army and you're attacking, I guess I'll get to that when we get there. I don't know how StarCraft 2 commentators uh, maintain. Like, there's always uh, way too much going on in their games for anyone to even like keep up with. Thankfully, this is just my like blandness and Zerg stumbling throughs. Um, that weird thing that's uh, I'm not even showing anymore. Okay, yeah. So there's my second le level building, and it let me get it'll let me get those flame aphids, and then there's like air stuff too, like mutas and whatnot. Let's see. All right. Okay, so I got a couple flame aphids pumping out now, and I'm building multiple uh, entry-level spawning pools. And I think that's how you're supposed to do this. Like, if I'm going to get capped on supply, uh, I want to be able to make a barrage of waves, but... I don't know. I wish I just knew how to get past 40 supply. Because some of your units take, like, 4 supply, and there's no way they just want you to make 10. Like, I'm missing some key components of this game, but I'm still having fun. Like, it's a blast. If you have ever played StarCraft, do it. Um, there's a campaign thing, but I don't know. I just kind of jump into these skirmishes. But yeah, maybe one day if... Uh, no, I was going to say if my Wi-Fi is out, but these skirmishes are just for computers, so you don't even need uh, any internet access. Okay, I got a nice little army going at my choke point here. Decent amount of flame aphids. I think I have their upgrade now. I think I was going like a flame aphid and zergling route, which... I don't even know. Okay, look at me using that 3D zoom. It's actually really cool. Um, whenever you do send your units to attack, they do really want to spread out. And this whole time while I'm going on this domination spree, it's going to keep telling me my workers are idle, which is kind of annoying, but kind of cool that they help you out at the same time. Okay, so I thought we would be catty corner, and since I'm bottom right, he would be top left. And yeah, I'm like trying to keep my mob all together. The zergling ones really want to take off into the front. And then the flame aphids are just dumb slow. But he wasn't even in that base, so I had to bounce. Um, I think there is multiplayer for this game, and I'm kind of scared, because real StarCraft gives me the heebie-jeebies. Um, it's just very intense. Okay. Uh! Right now I'm doing a long press, making sure all my guys just walk up that ramp. And then I made him attack, and I zoom in. And it looks good. Sometimes the Zerglings will do this weird little, like, run away and then, like, charge back at them. And I think it might do extra damage or something. But yeah, it's pretty much over from here on out. Uh, Flame Aphids are pretty boss versus any, like, uh, biological units. They get all clumpy. AoE damage for the win! Um, the conditions for victory, I'm not even 100% sure what they are. But if you kill their main factory and then some other buildings... Normally it gives you a pretty quick win. And this takes me extra long to do because he had an SUV, he had like an SCV or one of his little workers uh, repairing it the whole time. Kind of weird. And that's what I do when I win. I just spam my dudes back and forth. And yeah, that's it for this video. Um, if you want to scoop up a cheap iPad for yourself or some kind of cell phone gadgetry, check out phonecats.com and I'll hook you up. Phonecats.